you. We've got another unboxing. And yes, we got another optic from Gideon Optics. And this is the rock. And this is what the box looks like. That it comes in. Let's get this opened up. And let's see what's in here. Alright, we're going to take the lid off. We got our foam padding in here, just like all the other ones. We got Gideon Optic sticker. We have got a cleaning cloth. Got the owner's manual. And there we go. Down in here we have got, I believe, three sets of screws. Really nice. Got Torx wrench and flathead double sided screwdriver. And we've got our optic. That's everything in the box. All right, when it comes in the box, it does have an adapter on here to go on a 1913 rail. We will not be using this because this is going to go on a handgun. So let me get this off and we'll come back and talk about this dot. All right, I got it off the plate. Here's what that looks like. I would keep this around because the rock does have the RMR footprint. So if you decide down the road, you know, you want to have an AR with a 45 degree offset on it with a red dot or something, this plate's going to come in handy for you. So keep this around because like I said, this is an RMR footprint. All right, I did something a little different this time. I got this rock and I also got another optic from Gideon. And instead of going with red dots like I normally do, this time I went with the green dots. So both of the new dots that I got from Gideon that are going to be coming up on the channel are going to be green dots. Now one thing I want to say about these, I've noticed with these, they are super bright with the green dot. And they're super crisp. I'm not getting that starbursting like I normally do on the white background here. And uh, I am really, really impressed with the green dot in this. And I will show you that reticle here in a little bit. We'll focus in on it so you can see what it looks like. One thing to keep in mind with the Gideon Optics Rock, this does have the dot circle, like a holosun. Now on the Mediator and the Omega, you can cycle through. You can just run a dot or just run a circle or you can run the circle and dot together. Now with this rock, it's always on the dot and the circle together. So just keep that in mind. If you're not a fan of that, you do not have the option on this like you do on the Mediator and the Omega to cycle between the three different reticles. You will always have the circle with the dot on this optic. Now one thing I like to do with these, check the clicks. These are one MOA per click adjustments and they're very tactile. They're a little bit audible. I've been real, real happy with the adjustments on all the Gideon optics so far. Shouldn't have any problems there. Now this does have a top load battery right there and it does run on a 1632 battery. And it does have a 50,000 hour battery life on the lowest setting. It does have shake awake. Now when you put this in the gun safe and nobody's touching it, moving it, or bumping it around, it will shut itself off after 225 seconds. As soon as you go to grab your gun or give this a tap, it's coming right back on. Now the window on this is 15.5 millimeters tall and 22 millimeters wide. It does have unlimited eye relief and it is parallax free out to 33 yards. Now the actual dimensions of the dot, this is 45 millimeters in length. It is 32 millimeters wide and it has a height of 26.4 millimeters. 
Now the rock is constructed out of 7075 T6 aluminum, which is nice. And it is IPX7 waterproof and shockproof. And this does come with Gideon Optics three-year warranty. Here is one other thing that I really like about the rock and I think this is their only optic that's like this but it does have iron sights built into the back of it so if you've got a taller front sight or a suppressor height sight you should be able to co-witness perfect with this and we're going to find out here in a second because I'm going to actually show you what this looks like on the gun all right I want to show you how crisp that dot is and that reticle all right I got it mounted on the Anderson Kiger and uh, these suppressor height sights that came with this are tall enough that I actually don't need that rear sight on the rock but I really really like the way this looks on here I think this is found its home this is super nice I like it all right in the next video we will get the Gideon optics rock on the Anderson Kiger to the range and have some fun well I hope you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one